everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video and in today's episode of chess reviews we will be reviewing a crazy game that i have played today it was five minutes against somebody completely random on chess.com and let me tell you let me give you a little spoiler i crushed their soul so let's get straight into this and let's start reviewing this game because I'm also very curious like what is the bot going to say here, like what happened uh, exactly. I just played the moves mostly intuitively and I actually managed to win so this was just really really crazy. So let's go, let me start my screen recording now and here we go. So straight up you all can see that I have accuracy of 80.6. And I used to think that that is not like a lot, but then somebody in my comments told me that they're like much higher rated than I am and they still do not have that type of accuracy. So that is just crazy for me. So I'm very, very uh, satisfied with this result. And my opponent has accuracy of 63. So they're just much lower than I am, but they actually have a higher rating than I do. They have 513, I have 508 in 5-minute five, uh, five Blitz games. So this was just crazy and let's get straight into this. So I started, of course, uh, actually no, I, I wanted to play the London, but I kind of thought like, hmm, let's go with E4 this time, just to have a little bit of fun, to try to experiment here, to see like what will happen when we play E4 instead of D4, you know? So I played that and they, they responded with E5, which is, I mean, fine, of course, I do that as well, it's a completely normal book move. Uh, and nothing crazy is happening yet. So here I decided to go here with my bishop to c4 and I think that that's Italian. Uh, so I decided to do that just to try out the opening and to see like will it benefit me and will I actually like that style of playing. So my opponent uh, straight up does the best move possible, knight to f6 attacking this poor pawn here. And how do I defend it? by? but with the best move of course with d3 because i was thinking like okay i can maybe like take out my horse here but maybe it would be actually better to do this with the pawn i don't know why uh, again it just felt a uh, very intuitively correct so that's why i did it uh, next move they played a knight to c6 this is an excellent move they're now protecting this pawn even though it's not attacked Anyhow, but they're developing their knight and everything is going pretty fine for both me and my opponent so far. But look at this. Next move, I play knight to f3 and now this is suddenly a book move. I don't know what's happening, uh, but they say that this is uh, developing uh, my knight and attacking this poor pawn here. But this pawn is defended, so I can't really take it yet. But you will see, it will get really interesting very soon. Next move that they do is bishop to c5 and that is again another book move. So we have a lot of book moves happening here even though, I mean, this is move 4. <laughs> so you know, uh, that's pretty normal for move 4 to have like book moves. They say that here we played Gucci Pia. Is that Gucci Gyuoko? Gyu what, what? How do you read this? Gucci, I will just call it Gucci Piano game because I don't know how to pronounce that. If anybody is Italian, please let me know how to pronounce that in the comments down below. I will just call it Gucci Piano uh, uh, for now. But okay, next move I castle because I want to feel safe and I do not want any threats here. So this is again another book move. I'm castled, I'm fine, I'm chilling and my opponent does the same because they, they don't know what else to do and honestly um, they say that this is very good, you know, book move, blah blah blah, they did the same move as I did and nothing crazy is happening yet. So we are taking this very very slowly and easily. Now I do an excellent move which is knight to c3 and I don't know why, I just decided to develop him there. I was thinking like maybe I can go here like you know, like I do in the London system but then I can't really develop this bishop. Oh my god, I can't develop this bishop like this. So I'm actually just like kind of blocking myself. So that's why I decided to go to c3 instead of d2. 
and uh, I just wanted to develop the knight. Now they do an excellent move. Uh, they say that this is a very sensible reply uh, and this is a6. I don't know what a6 is actually doing. Uh, I do not understand this move, but it's fine. Maybe they're just giving some sp uh, sp uh, space for the rook, you know. So, okay, uh, next move. I jump with my horse. Because, you know, that's my whole game plan, jumping around with my horses. So if anybody, like, takes my horse, I'm kind of out of plans in chess for now. Maybe later in life I will actually get better in this. But for now I just really rely on my horses for some reason. And I was expecting them to take my horse with their horse. You know, that's what I was expecting, a trade of horses. But they, they did not do that. They did not consent to that. They actually attacked my bishop. And I was thinking like, hmm, what to do? Can I like um, take their horse? Maybe then they take my bishop. So we are kind of equal. But somebody in the comments told me like, Sarah, bishops are actually more valuable than horses. So do not trade a bishop for a horse. And that's what kind of stuck with me. And that's why I decided to do this move, which is bishop to b3. And uh, I decided to save him. And I decided to save that bishop for later because I thought like maybe this bishop can actually be useful later so that's why i decided to do that and i moved him and they said this is an excellent move because i moved my bishop to safety and see now the next move they did this they did d6 and uh, they say that this allows me to pin a knight i don't know how but probably with this bishop here probably like that I Aha, uh -huh. okay, yeah, I am right. So uh, if I moved my bishop to g5, I would have pinned this knight to a queen and, you know, they would just have a lot of troubles. And I actually was considering, uh, like, of doing that move, but I decided not to do it. I don't know why, I was just kind of scared of them pushing a pawn here and then I would just have to go back. So that kind of seemed really pointless to me. So that's why I decided to take a knight. And now they said that this is a miss because actually I could have um, pinned uh, the knight uh, to a queen. And uh, now I'm actually allowing my opponent to capture this knight, of course, with either a pawn or a queen. And I don't know why these arrows are really frustrating me, but they're not working. Uh, so they decided to take with their queen, which is the best move because, you know, queen is a fabulous piece and she has to walk around and they developed her and she was just showing her beauty, of course. And now next, now I do this. Now I, <laughs> I go here with my bishop. So now I do bishop to g5. They said that this is the best move. I attacked the, uh, the queen and I activated uh, my bishop as well. They do another best move, which is moving their queen to safety, which is queen to g6. And it's just not, not doing anything much. It's just moving her to safety and that is it. Now next move, I also do a best move. So there are a lot of best moves here, guys. I did this, I was thinking like, okay, now if they move their horse, they're literally losing their rook, so maybe maybe they won't see it. And uh, even if they like do see it or something like that, then I can literally just take the horse. So maybe, you know, I can actually do some cold trickeries here. And they decided to defend them like this with bishop to b7, which I think that is very, very good. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, oh, my opponent actually knows what they're doing because uh, they, they permitted me now. They were like telling me, okay, you won't get this horse or rook for free. We will actually trade bishop for a horse or you will move. And that's why I decided to go c4 for no reason. I was just thinking like, okay, I'm out of moves. I don't know what will I do here. Let's just go and push c4 just to open up space a little bit because, you know, I was thinking that they will take here, uh, but they did not. They moved their rook to, uh, what is this, f8. And now they say that this is a mistake because this misses, uh, this misses a much better move. I don't know what would be a better move here, honestly, because I just don't know. But if you know, let me know in the comments down below. But they did this and this is a mistake. I don't know why, but it, it simply is because we trust our coach. Now I take the pawn here because they did not take mine and I want to, to trade pawns here. And now they take my pawn. And uh, because if they didn't, I will literally just take the horse with the pawn. 
so that would be very unfortunate for them so of course they took my pawn and this is the best move and now i do this and now black is suddenly completely winning because i put my queen to b3 because here i'm going to read this to you they say that I missed an opportunity to threaten a winning bishop. You allow the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. And they were thinking like that my opponent is going to do this. And I don't know what, maybe I could have gone here. Or what is the, what is the, uh, like, uh, winning a bishop? What would win a bishop? Let's retry this. Maybe this. Okay, let's wait. They say that this is also a mistake. Oh my god, what is a move here? How can I even win a bishop here? I truly do not know. Now I'm wondering. I can't go here. Maybe something with my horse. Maybe do this. I'm very confused. They say that this is also a mistake. Okay, so I don't know. What, what would be a best move here? Wait, what? Aha, aha, okay. But can't they just take this? This threatens to win. How does this threaten to win a bishop? Am I blind? But can't they just take this pawn then? I'm very confused. But okay, they say that this is the best move. But I did not play this. I, I actually played my queen here. And okay, I was just thinking of like connecting my queen to my bishop here so that I can maybe take this and then like fork them in a way, you know, but uh, that plan did not work. They attacked my queen here with their knight and I was just like, okay, let's capture the knight. And here I did a great move and I have two great moves in this game, so I'm very, very proud of that. They say that because I traded off this equal material, that this was the only move that worked and that I have actually found that only move. I don't know how, I was just thinking like, okay, let's trade, you know, why not? Because, uh, why not? Let's just trade horses. It's fine. Let's just open up the position a little bit. And now they do this. They did not take my horse. Uh, they actually moved their queen to g5. For what reason? I truly do not know, guys. I don't know. What, what what was their plan? Why not just capture a knight? Why not? Maybe with your pawn, you can do it with your bishop. Uh, these arrows are frustrating me. But okay, they could have captured the knight, but they did, they did not do it. They did not do it. They moved their queen for no apparent reason. They just did it because they felt like it. And I was just like, okay, what's up? Check reality check how are you now i did this move but sadly because the queen moved i did not actually fork them but they can't really take this so of course i take take the rook because bishop for a rook is an amazing trade in my book uh and i think in everyone's <laughs> so now they take my bishop uh with the rook and they say that this is actually an inaccuracy because this misses an opportunity to take an outpost with a bishop. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. Oh, okay, yeah. And that is, I think that that's exactly what I did. Oh, not. <laughs> no, no, no. But how did I not see that? That is literally a very nice, uh, but it's not a fork. No, 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 it's not a fork. But if I, wait. If I go here with my horse, I, 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 don't, I can't with these arrows, but if I go here with my horse, can't they really just take, oh, but I have a queen there. Okay, maybe I should have done that. That is actually much better. Thank you, bot. Okay, but I did this. This is again an inaccuracy because I could have done that. Uh, I here uh, took a pawn and I was just thinking like uh, of jumping here and then uh, like uh, going here for the rook. Um, and then they go here, they say that this is okay, and then I take the pawn, and I'm completely winning, but this is still a mistake and inaccuracy, because I allowed my opponent to threaten a checkmate somehow. How? Oh, like that. Okay, I, I have to look out for that in the future games, definitely. But okay, they move their rook because they're 500 rated, and they do not see this checkmate that we have just seen. And neither did I because I'm also 500 rated. 
And now I jump with my horse here. And now I do this, uh, an incredible fork. I fork them uh, here. Oh, these arrows here. And that is it. I fork them. Yeah, yeah. I for And I also fork them here. I can't with these arrows, but okay, I fired them kind of three times, uh, but of course they took this because this was defended, but I saw that it was defended, but I was still thinking like, okay, but then I win this bishop that is kind of annoying me, and that is the best move, um, and then next they did this, and they blunder, they blunder completely, because now, guys, now look at this. Now my queen can just go here, and this is another, uh, what is this, great move that I have done, because now I'm actually forcing a checkmate here, without even realizing, to be honest. I was just like thinking, oh, check, let's go. And I was actually thinking like, oh, isn't that a checkmate? But then I saw like, okay, they can do this, which is definitely forced, they have no other moves, and then when I take, this is a checkmate. I accidentally forced a checkmate on my opponent. <laughs> So when I say that I have played this completely intuitively, trust me, this was completely intuitive. I was just like thinking like, mm -hmm -hmm, let's go, let's do it. It feels right and I will do it. And I actually won. And this was a blitz game. And I have won and th this just felt amazing. So uh, they say here that uh, they're estimating my, uh, my opponent's rating to 450 and they're estimating my rating to 850. Isn't that incredible? And they're also telling me uh, like that both me and my opponent played a very good opening, but I played uh, like uh, a very, very good middle game and they had like a questionable middle game. I don't know how to read these little signs. Like this is like, I guess the best move here, the star and the like is like what? A good move? No, is it a good move? Or is it excellent? I don't know. But I was I was much better here than them, and that is what they say here. And I was winning almost the com the whole time. Uh, but in the one moment, uh, I was not winning the whole time. <laughs> Let's go back here a little bit. So here, here the uh, when I took out my queen here to be three, that was a mistake. And now black actually had an opportunity to to win. But they did not see it, and then oh, after this uh, great move, which is just for me trading horses, but to my bot here, who is much smarter than I am, uh, it's a great move, so it is a great move. Uh, after that, black did not stand a chance, and I won, and I forced the checkmate on them, and my bot, my coach here, is very proud of me, as I can see, and they're telling me that I outplayed my opponent, and that opening was very balanced, but I I was cut above my opponent in the middle game, which is true because they blundered the rook like that, actually the mate. Uh, I don't know why they decided to move the rook like that. Maybe they were thinking like, oh, I'm going to mate you. And then I was just like, no, 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 hold up, bro. I will actually mate you, you know, because you won't mate me, I will mate you. <laughs> and that's what happened. So that is it. Let's go back to full screen now, guys. And what's up? Hello, how are you? Welcome to full screen. So this was today's game. I'm very happy uh, with the result. I'm very happy with my moves and how I played. I have two great moves, which is amazing for a beginner like me. For somebody who is 500 rated, that is more than excellent. So I'm very happy about that. But if you uh, like know what I should have played maybe even better, then please let me know in the comments down below. But I'm very proud of this game and win is a win and that is the most important thing. So thank you everyone for watching this. Hopefully you have liked this review as much as I did. And if you have any like recommendations, ideas or anything that's on your mind, then please let me know in the comments down below. And also add me on chess.com or Lee Chess if you want to play chess with me, if you want to end up in chess with subs episodes. And uh, what else do I have to say in the outro? Uh, okay, like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, check out my Patreon if you want to donate to this channel and if you want to see it grow and advance. And uh, share this channel with your friends or family members if they also like playing chess because you know we are almost at 200 subscribers and we are growing very very fast so if you have anybody who would enjoy this content as much as you do 
then please share this uh, channel or this video with them because you know we just need more people here we just <clears throat> need to grow this community as much as we can so that is pretty much it everyone uh, I need to stretch I feel kind of sleepy now, so I think that I'm going to drink a, 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 a three liters of coffee. I don't know why I started stuttering all of a sudden. It's very weird, but okay. So I wish you a good day or the rest of the day for some of you. Uh, good luck with your games. Do not blunder. Do not resign. If you want to play chess, once again, add me on chess.com. And uh, if you have any like advices, once again, let me know in the comments down below. And I think that that is it. So once again, have a nice day and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.